An everyday Canadian is the name of a YouTuber who can't seem to stop attracting the attention of the paranormal. One night he goes ghost hunting with a friend at an old spot known as the Lakeview Cemetery. They're not making any jokes and being very respectful as they pass over the sacred ground. Aww, that's nice. 1923. Wow, hey. Yeah. And at three minutes, his friend even performs a kind act. Oh, this person lost their flowers. Let's put it back in there for them. This light winks off as she passes by. This is what it looks like at three minutes and 20 seconds, completely off. And this is what it looks like at 3 minutes and 24 seconds, completely on. These lights are solar and wouldn't flicker off. She even says so herself at 2 minutes and 8 seconds, almost a full minute before any of this happens. Anywhere it's lit up, they have like solar lights. The light that does this is only 3 markers over from where she returned the flowers and happens 20 seconds later. I think she's definitely being contacted and told thank you. Redditor ZZZ747 writes, It happened again. As the Redditor explains it, they posted a video months ago noting that a neighbor's CCTV camera captured something strange, and in this post, we're seeing it for a second time. What do you think this white mist could be? Many in the comments think it's fog rolling through. Others suggest that the neighbor could be vaping. Still others think it looks like the outline of a person or a ghost. What do you think it is? I'm not 100% sold that it's supernatural, but that doesn't mean it could be. Though judging by the Redditor's title, this isn't the first time this has happened. If this is captured again, maybe we'll be able to get more concrete answers. The aggression with which some ghosts make their presence known can frighten even the bravest among us. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Mr. Miracle BR, the redditor says this clip was tweeted by a police officer and reveals a strange, seemingly paranormal encounter during a police raid in Brazil. The footage shows what appears to be an abandoned building. The police approach to find a door banging repeatedly on its hinge. As they get closer, they see that it's doing so on its own. No trespassers are around. Nothing behind the door but an apparently angry plant. The man filming scans the door up and down, but nothing seems to explain the banging. The police hear something clatter to the ground somewhere far off and start running down the alley. Redditor Isselin draws attention to something else creepy in the clip writing. How come no one is pointing out the girl in the doorway at 38 seconds? Not sure if that's a girl. In fact, it's unclear what it is. But once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's very unnerving. Those who don't see it remain skeptical about the seeming paranormal activity. Redditor Bin Medi writes, Ghosts do this, but they don't do it constantly. Well, there you have it. Someone is watching in the woods. Published by Mr. Horror, this short clip shows a group hanging out in the forest and what looks like the ruins of an abandoned structure. As the camera turns from the surrounding trees to the building, it captures something creeping around the door frame. The mysterious figure is but a flash, and its features are indistinct. It quickly pulls out of view. The cameraman hurries forward, revealing a campfire built outside to the right. But it looks like the creature is long gone. What was it? Are they being stalked by the unknown? It sure looks that way to me. A YouTuber named Yankee Reb travels to the haunted battlefield of Gettysburg, Virginia, and stands before an old battle cannon. He grows very still and records nothing but darkness for a full 20 minutes before any paranormal activity occurs. As the night progresses, a lone soldier silently marches around the cannon and stops just outside of the muzzle, which is where you would stand to reload it. Holy, holy c Down by the cannon, you see that? Oh, what is that? I say it could be a soldier because, aside from the historic location, 
I can also kind of make out the old style sash and hat that some soldiers used to wear. No way, what is that? I have no idea. Did you get that on the camera? I, it's recording. Oh my gosh, did you see that? His attire is most visible at around the 1 minute and 58 second mark, so that's when you can get the clearest and most direct look for yourself. Let me know if you can see what he has on. I, did you, honestly? I, I wouldn't believe it unless we recorded it. Maybe this soldier in particular was accidentally taken out by his own cannon while reloading, which used to happen quite often back those times. Rob of Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration challenges himself to withstand 30 minutes of the paranormal without getting scared of this haunted place in the woods. Creepy things are soon caught on camera. Uh. Rob's paranormal worries are just starting to begin. Uh, my camera battery is already half full before I even really did anything with it. He's talking about how his fully charged battery is mysteriously half drained. When a woman's voice softly talks about taking lives, strange red lights flash in the corner when she speaks. He also has two potential ghost sightings outside while listening for more EVPs. Sounds closer though. First, this strange object disappears in the distance, followed by a possible ghost orb up close. Overall, I think Rob's findings are beyond creepy and probably real. So there's this really weird video of some strange lights in the sky that needs a closer analysis. How many were there? 30? 30. And then they just disappear. Look, here comes more. Basically, this guy has caught mysterious things on camera, floating over where he lives, in Metairie, Louisiana. His confused reaction soon spreads to other houses as more people react to the unusual lights above. There's like 30 of them. They keep coming out of nowhere. Really? Yeah, this is the real deal. So let's get this straight. He sees almost 30 odd lights and another neighbor verifies that they've seen them for days on end, seemingly from nowhere. What they've caught on camera cannot be explained by them, so they turn to the YouTube community for help. I think I can help solve the mystery on this one. Those aren't, those aren't Japanese lanterns, are they? Are they? No, because they're all going the same. It's like a little paper balloon, and you put the uh, wick in it, and it lifts it up, and then maybe it is. He means a Chinese lantern. I looked it up, and the Lantern Festival is celebrated on the same day this video was made, so hopefully this settles other videos of mysterious lights in the sky caught on this specific day once and for all. YouTuber Ricky Velasquez captures this house being antisocial. Watch these china cabinet drawers. <laughs> Here it is again, a little slower this time. The creepiest part of this footage is the shadow figure that moves towards the china cabinet. Keep your eyes peeled for it. Is that one of the creepiest things you've ever seen? I think this is one of the most authentic shadow figures I've witnessed. What do you think? Scotty the NJ Medium is holding a ghost hunting expedition. When he thinks he hears a growling noise, he wants the ghost to reveal itself, and that's when things do not go as they'd expected. What's the name of the person growling? 
The door opens, but what happens next is a total surprise. The spirit box says who's knocking, followed by two taps at the door. Obviously, no one is standing on the other side because you'd be able to see them easily. Yo, you kidding? Scotty and his team admit they're not sure if the door was latched shut or not, but they say there's no wind. I'm pretty sure I can hear wind though, so I'll turn the sound up and you tell me what you think. <laughs> A YouTuber named Dark Exploration Films is checking out an old abandoned police station in New York City to see what he can find. He makes his way through some old dark service tunnels and finally comes out on the other side. The police station starts off as a series of twisting hallways filled with old electronics, paper documents, and various forms of evidence. As Dark Exploration Films goes deeper, he finds a lonely medical wing filled with abandoned beds. The walls look particularly clean until he comes into a final room that looks absolutely wrecked. Guys, I have no idea what we just walked into, but it's clear it's a medical room. On the floor, he finds a red stain that he thinks is absolutely real and based on the realistic splatter pattern. I tend to agree. He steps over it and finds one last scary item, a bright orange biohazard container with the lid open. The container is pretty much empty, but it doesn't exactly look clean. Hopefully the mysterious white powdery substance inside is just chipped paint flakes and not something that is dangerous to inhale. I wish him the best, but I hope there's more info on what was in that container. A young boy is watching television by himself and starts making a video for fun. After a while, he needs to do something in another room so he puts the phone down for just a minute and accidentally records this creeper at his window. Someone peeks through the window multiple times over the course of a minute. I think those might be metal bars on the windows. So maybe this area has been dealing with break-ins, in which case there was about to be another. Then again, this strange floating orb appears as soon as the figure disappears, so maybe this is some kind of paranormal intruder instead. This deep web video is a collection of old horror movie scenes spliced together, most of which I can identify. There's one clip that I don't recognize though. Other people don't recognize this scene either. They even think that a psycho could have spliced a small portion of real video into a horror movie montage. This would be the perfect way to brag about what you've done without making it too obvious. Let me know if you recognize what movie this woman is from, if any. If nobody has seen this before then, as much as I hate to say it, I think this portion might be home video from a genuine psychopath. Christina Carr is all alone in her old attic in New Jersey, but she feels like she is constantly being watched. She invites anything lurking in the shadows to make its presence known. Is anybody in here with me? It isn't long before she gets a response. No. Goodness. She does not hear it at the time, but the disembodied voice of an older woman timidly asks hello. The voice sounds alarmed and confused, almost like it's asking for help. Christina continues to poke around the attic asking questions until she gets another potential sign in the form of distant sirens. Store a few things, that's all. I hear some kind of alarm. Let me know if you think this alarm was just a coincidence or if you think a paranormal presence was somehow trying to warn Christina to stay away from the attic. A YouTube channel called Exploration Unknown is walking along the outskirts of Area 51 when they hear an aircraft fast approaching. I am blown. I hear something, but I can't see it. The sound crescendos to new heights as sound barriers break overhead. Yet strangely, they see absolutely nothing as it passes by.
Just when the situation returns to normal, the unseen UFO makes a second pass, and this time they think they can make out its faint outline in the distance. Their camera doesn't really pick up any visuals though, or at least none that I can see, but maybe you can see what he's pointing out in the sky. That oh, that is it! Like I said, I personally don't see anything, but I can definitely hear it, which makes you wonder if this is some sort of advanced cloaking technology. After all, the sky is clear blue and a plane should be visible in this weather from almost any height. This CCTV footage shows a young woman hurrying down a flight of steps, only to find something waiting for her at the bottom of the stairwell. The shadowy figure turns towards her, and if you look closely, you can almost make out the circular white outline of a face. She bolts away and the apparition quickly pursues. If this video is real, then nobody knows what happened next, or if she even survived. That's what this YouTuber thinks about Bloody Mary after making this video. He says her name way more than three times, and then begins to taunt her out loud. Are you real Bloody Mary, or are you just a f***ing joke? Did y'all just hear that? Still not convinced, the brave teen says her name some more and waits. It isn't long before he gets his reply. Drawers are opening on their own, the faucet turns on, and he soon concludes that Bloody Mary is very real after all. He goes to grab the door and finds that it won't budge. He puts his hands on top of his head now, obviously distressed, just when he is sure that he's a goner. He manages to open the door and make an escape. On February 3rd, 2020, a bizarre video was posted on Twitter showing some strange activity caused by mysterious things in the sky, weird lines like some kind of wavelengths projecting outwards. A Twitter user posted the mysterious video because he says it needs explaining. He says this is electromagnetic interference of some kind, but has no idea what it could be from. If this is a result of EMF radiation, then the source is giving off a giant amount and must be large itself in return. Tell me if you think you know what's happening here, because it's been over a year and the mysterious event he caught on video still cannot be explained. Mo Sargi is exploring an old train station that's supposed to be haunted. A few things happen during this expedition, two of which are so subtle that no one notices. The group keeps saying that they hear a little girl crying, but you can't hear it very well so I won't bother including it here. Still, at around 6 minutes and 50 seconds into the video, they come across very tiny handprints smeared across the window of a train. None of them seem to notice, but if you look closely, you'll see them here. Maybe these prints belong to whoever or whatever was crying earlier. Later, Mo and his friends are joking about a ghost named Tom when suddenly a voice chimes in. I think Tom is here. Many people think that the voice is clearly saying hi. Let me know if you hear it and whether or not you agree. The three friends eventually trip an alarm and rush off the property completely unaware of the numerous paranormal encounters they have recorded. A YouTuber named Dylan Richardson is teaching his dog how to speak when his creepy next-door neighbor, who is apparently annoyed by the barking dog, decides to stare at everyone through his window instead of knocking on the front door. The neighbor could have mental problems because he is looking into this home with no shirt on despite the cold weather. They chase him away but he literally vanishes around the side of the house without a trace, no camera editing or anything. That's when Dylan's friend gets this idea. I I guess this neighbor wanted to get frostbite more than he wanted to get caught. I don't know how he could possibly manage to perfectly burrow under the snow in 3 seconds without leaving any footprints behind, so I'm gonna say this creepy neighbor video, while strange and entertaining, is made up. 
The CCTV ghost footage was taken inside a school in Warren, Michigan. A girl stops to put her hair in a bun, completely unaware of a possible paranormal presence floating directly across from her. Look at the water fountain and you'll see it. The faint white outline of a person's head leaning in. As if to take a drink, it disappears for a moment. And then when the girl is busy checking out her reflection, it comes back again. This time bouncing back and forth in front of the fountain some more before vanishing for good. Some people are saying that this could just be dust, but I think it's interesting how it seems to hang around the spout of the water fountain for a long time. I can also kind of see the outline of a student's body when I look hard enough. Tell me if you can too. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.